thing. Did you do that? Did you open the drawer and pull your, pull your daddy's underwear out? Oh my goodness, I go to the restroom for like one minute and you do this. Oh gosh. Welcome guys to another dog vlog. Yeah! <laughs> All right guys, in today's video, I just wanna do a quick check-in and kinda update you because it's been a little minute since I've uploaded. I'm sorry about that. I, uh, spoiler alert, I don't really have a good excuse, but I want to answer a couple of your frequently asked questions in this video, and we're gonna jump into it, hump in, <laughs> right? Meow. Good morning, welcome guys to another dog vlog. If you are new here, click that subscribe button, show me some support to help save all the damn rescue dogs. And first things first today, good timing, Finn. Good segue. We're gonna go play fetch. Drop it, good boy. Okay, we're inside now, much better. <laughs> I couldn't vlog out there because it's so foggy and so humid that I just finished playing fetch and moved inside. Um, but I just wanted to jump on here and give a quick update on Finn. He is doing amazing. If you're not aware, I'll link the vlog up here, but he recently was neutered. Um, he's about 12 months, 12 years, 12 months old now. I had a lot of people ask me, you know, what are my thoughts about neutering? Do I believe in neutering and spaying? And here's my thing. I'm a rescue dog advocate. So obviously I promote spaying and neutering because a lot of people out there are not able to um, handle their pets and their personal pets appropriately and keep them away from mating and creating unwanted litters. And that's just the reality and no offense. I'm not saying you, I'm just saying a lot of people. My general thought around spaying and neutering is that we should spay and neuter our pets so that we don't have unwanted litters because right now too many dogs are dying from being stuck in shelters and not being wanted and it's just, it's unacceptable. And that's why my motto is to save all the damn rescue dogs because I, I want to stop that. But there are studies that show that spaying and neutering your dog and doing what they call desexing them can lead to health issues and concerns in your dogs. Now I encourage you to go do research, look at peer reviewed articles, unbiased articles, and do your due diligence. Don't just take my word for it. This is just research I've done over the past few years. There is a part of me that didn't want to neuter Finn. I mean, I wanted him to, you know, I want him to live as long as possible. And if doing something is gonna potentially cause him to, you know, maybe not live as long as possible. That wasn't really what I wanted to do, but here's the thing. I adopted him from a rescue and there's a contract that you have to sign that you're gonna neuter him. And so I followed through on that because I followed through on my commitments. This is a hard topic for me to talk about because there's just so many parts that go along with it. The net of it is I do believe in spaying and neutering. I think it's the right thing to do in many cases because there are just too many dogs out there that are Finn. Finn, no, you're not one of them. No, no, you guys, can you see him? He's just, hi, hi, you're all muddy. You're all muddy, hi buddy. Can you say hi to the vlog? What do you think about getting neutered, huh? He's like, I'm happy no matter what, mama. If you are a responsible pet owner and you can keep them from mating, I think, if you are concerned of cancer and, and diseases like that, I'm just letting you know that it may be something that you want to look into and, and research. I think it's like with anything in life, you just, like I said, you do the best you can with what you have at the time that you're in it. And and that's what, and that's what you're gonna do, right? And I'm just gonna make sure that everything else I do for Finn is the most optimal. So titering on vaccines, which if you don't know about titering and vaccines and over vaccination, comment below and I'd love to do a video on that. Um, the two crazy cat ladies are friends of mine and they are pushing a huge campaign about um, titering with vaccines to avoid over vaccination and it's amazing. So I'll link them down below because they already have great information about it, but I'm happy to do a video as well if you'd like. Um, but feeding him a raw whole food, that food, <laughs> yeah, food. I don't know, that sounded weird, but feeding him raw whole foods um, and not processed, not full of carbs, not full of sugars. So, and exercising him and giving him a life that's um, enriching mentally as well and physically uh, because dogs need that. They they have, you know, they can get depressed and they have emotional needs, huh, Penny? Can you sit down? Okay, go 
I say hi? Oh, look at it. Okay, jump off. Uh, so as long as I'm doing all those things, I feel okay with it. I'm not going to beat myself up with it. Um, I made the best decision at the best time I could. Anyways, I'm moving on from that topic. This morning, I've got a lot of work to do and I've been stuck in this house for the last two days, uh, really working hard at my work work uh, and getting a lot of progress, but I'm going a little stir crazy being stuck in this house. So I played fetch with the dogs. I let them run around. So I'm gonna go leave them here and I'm gonna go to the coffee shop. All right, I just made it to the coffee shop and I'm already ready for a nap. <laughs> it's early. the best table in the house. Poor dogs. Okay. This is why it's so good that I live so close to this coffee shop because I can get home in three minutes. I really don't like to leave the dogs alone for like more than five hours max. Um, so this is really pushing it. But I got a lot of work done. I feel really, really good about it. My eye, I just feel like my face is like, oh, I need to, I need to be off the computer. I need to take like an hour break. <laughs> I'm outside, the dogs are going potty, and it feels so good. Um, it is definitely about to rain, so I don't think it's gonna be smart to go for a walk. But it doesn't mean we can't play fetch for a little bit until uh, until it does rain. But I just wanted to jump on here. It's been a while since I've filmed. I've been, you know, busy with my day job. Like it's very, very, very busy, which is why I have not been posting as much here. It does not mean that you're not important because you are, you're my heart. Um, but I'm just trying to figure everything out. So anyways, thank you guys so much for all your support. Click that subscribe button down below. I hope that you have a beautiful day. Goodbye.